I remember talking to you three, four years ago here, and it's yeah. it's never an easy. I don't want to start with officiating, but I might as well. It's never easy here. Um, you guys are up against a lot, yeah. and uh, I mean, you guys nearly won it anyway. Yeah, no, we're right there. Um, it's a really good, it's a good game. I mean, hard fought, competitive, uh, both ways. I mean, like you said, like no, we didn't good. make it a good whistle, but like, it's a Hall of Fame coach, and like you're, you're playing here, it's sold out. You're like, do you expect to come in here and get a good whistle? Like, you're just not. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, but like that's not that's not why we won or lost the game. I mean, we, you know, we have a shot to win, and, and that's and that's what you can ask for. Um, definitely some plays along the way, uh, some turnovers. You know, we wish we we wish we could have it back. Um, but at the end of the day, we fought, we played hard. Yeah. Um, you know, but three for seventeen from three, and uh, I think it was like six for thirteen from the line. It's, it's, it's really hard to win on the road with in those with thirteen turns. It's really hard. Yeah, that's actually kind of amazing. You work. Yeah, it's, yeah. The defense. I mean, de would you credit the defense? Yeah, no. I thought we defended. I thought we had a good game plan. I thought we really guarded. Um, forced them to take some tough ones. I mean, I think they made eight threes, eight or nine. Uh, yeah, you know, so definitely could have could have limited that a little bit. But I thought we did a pretty good job. Um, you know, trying to keep guys from getting downhill because that's what they're so good at. No. But but yeah, overall, I mean, I thought I really thought we fought, and then on the glass, you know, that's normally where they where they get people. We got them by one, and that's and that's the reason we're in the game. Um, the la I wanted to wa go walk through the last play or the last sequence of plays there. Um, looked like beautiful design and a beautiful throw by you. Is that first of all, is that something you work on a lot, or is that? I mean, um, Fran always seems to have a million inbounds plays, so yeah. I don't know how you tend to work on them. We definitely, I mean, we, it's definitely one we work on. I mean, we, we have we have a bunch uh, from the from the side and from from yeah. base OB. Like we have a ton, yeah. uh, and we and we kind of, we're going over them constantly, like during shoot around and stuff like that, to make sure everybody's locked in, not forgetting any of them. Plus, he it was in a timeout, so he drew it up. Um, okay. So that so that was that was relatively easy to adapt. But I mean, yeah, got it. Got two great looks at it. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm taking Peyton to make that. You know. 98 times out of 100, and, and you know it's like he's he's gonna make that almost all the time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, especially, I mean, I trust him to take that and make that whenever. And you got offensive rebound there too, and even had another shot. Is, did you, Francis, you thought about calling timeout, but obviously had. You know, yeah, I actually again. did call timeout, but then I saw him. They didn't give me the timeout. Oh, I called really? timeout, but they didn't. Yeah, they didn't give it to me, and then I saw him, so I just quick threw it to him. Okay. But I did call timeout, and they they just I mean it's loud. It's, it's so loud. Yeah. It's like they couldn't hear anything. Is that, do you like yell timeout or I mean, you you normally ball, like, right? I mean, I would try to yell it, but like yeah. in that situation, you kind of have to signal it because they can't hear, okay. like they're not going to hear you. And so I was like, literally like around the ball, like about to do it. And then I saw him. So I just like quick, yeah. it. he and Chris were both there actually. I, th I think it was Chris. Yeah. But you know, we had, I mean, another good look at it. Yeah.